In this video, we're going to check out Right Cream from AppSumo. It's interesting because it has a focus on business and outreach to customers and potential customers and cold emailing and things like that versus other generators on AppSumo which focus on content for social media and for blogs, even though Right Cream does that as well. Here are the plans down here. They only differ in how much you pay and how many credits you get per month. And the credits are tied to the number of characters. I don't know why they choose to abstract it like that. They could just count characters instead of credits. Anyway, it is what it is. So there's 200, 400, 600, 800, and 1,000 credits, which is up to 2 million characters. So you can write quite a bit on that level. There's also a second link in the description down below. It takes you to this page. This is an AppSumo giveaway for seven Apple Vision Pros. You can't win seven of them, but you can win one of them. All you do is enter your email address. Aside from that, it's free to enter. And if you know what these are, you're gonna to wanna to enter your email address. And if you don't know what Apple Vision Pros are, you're gonna to wanna to go to apple.com and check out the Apple Vision Pro and watch the video they have there. They are pretty awesome. And you're not gonna to wanna to miss your chance to win them for free. So click the link in the description down below, go to this page, enter your email address. And at the end of the Black Friday sale, hopefully they draw your name and you'll be winning this headset. Once you have your account, you log in and this is what it looks like. There is a long form editor that we're gonna check out as well, but basically they have email tools, social media tools, SEO tools, and their side menu is lined up with their, with their top menu here. These menus over here should be the same as this. Here we have all the tools listed, email, copywriting, social media, and SEO. So copywriting is not on the left side for some reason, neither here nor there. You click on one of these, it filters out the tools to be applicable to the one that you pick. So the SEOs are writing blog posts, generating blog ideas, blog outlines. You can see what they all are here. Generate whole articles right here in four steps. Sweet. We've all seen these things by now. It's pretty old hat at this point. But it's still, it's nice to have ones that for emails are focused on personalization. So for an example, let's go to email personalization here. And I'm going to type in a website. Just give it my website wplearninglab.com. It's gonna to go to this website, try to figure out what it's about, and it's gonna write emails or introductions of emails to reach out to me, essentially. Let's click on generate. It'll make more sense if we actually read these. Here we go. Hey there, Bjorn. I'm really impressed with the dedication to teaching entrepreneurs, business people, and individuals how to reach their online goals using WordPress. With so many people looking to establish their online presence, your tutorials are sure to be a game changer. It's not wrong. Uh, so this would be like a starting paragraph, an opening paragraph to an email that you would then flesh out, obviously, with other tools or with your own brain and write it yourself. And down here for further personalization, you can even upload an email list in the form of a CSV file. That's pretty neat. More email tools, even though LinkedIn is not really email. I guess it is. I guess you get the information from LinkedIn, maybe. I get the LinkedIn profile. So this would be add a LinkedIn profile. You get there info, the app gets the info and writes a personalized, a personalized intro paragraph like it just did for the straight up email. Perfect pitch in seconds. What's the brand or name, business success rules? Sure, that sounds good. Generate a list of ways to increase sales of a business at the end of the year. Let's generate that. So this is uh, an email pitch to angel investors. If you know any angel investors, maybe this is the kind of email that you want to send to them or at least the starts of it. You want to go in and tweak it to make it your own and make it uh, true to whatever you're doing because the app's not going to know everything about your business. And we have uh, an audio icebreaker. You can create audio messages. So let's see how this works. Let's put in WP Learning Lab again. Select the language, English, US. Matthew, I'm sure these are not going to be great voices. Okay, let's generate. Let's see what this guy sounds like. Hey Bjorn. I just wanted to reach out and say I'm a big fan of the Learning Lab. Your tutorials are extremely helpful and I love your teaching style. I've learned so much from your videos, thank you. Wow, what a great uh, audio message. The only problem is it sounds like a computer. And I'm sure all these voices will sound that way. So it's not 11 Labs. I use 11 Labs for generating some voiceovers for some various things. Um, and those voices are amazing on 11 Labs. This is not amazing. But some people, for some reason, can't pick up its computer. So it, it could work for some people. But um, I think it would be better just to generate text than use 11 Labs to make the audio and then send it out as whatever file you gotta send it from 11 labs because that's way better text. Sorry, voiceovers. Email copy, so this is general email copy. Let's uh, use a blog tool. Let's go to SEO tools. Let's create uh, an outline. Sure, 
let's call it that. Now we're gonna use these to generate the email. Obviously you wanna proofread these, let's just use five. Don't want the email to be crazy long. You wanna proofread these and make sure they're the ones you want and everything. But this is a quick way to generate content for emails with the key points in there, creativity in the middle, sure, generate. We only have a 300 character limit for the description so we would have maxed it out if we put all 10 in here. So here we have an email. Hope this email finds you well. As we approach the busy holiday season, it is September right now, middle of September. So maybe it knows what time of year. I'm not sure. That would be kind of cool. That'd be pretty slick if it knew that. Of course, if you put this into an autoresponder, then you wouldn't want to really have that unless you schedule it to only go out in this time of year. Uh, but here we have a lot of great content. It's a great looking email. If you could link these to Say each of these points, you had a blog post or a video or, some, or something where you could link to at the end saying if you want more information or more tips and tricks on this specific thing, check out this video. It'd be pretty solid. So those are the email tools. There's also social media tools. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. Social media post captions for Instagram and Facebook. Facebook ad copy, engaging social posts, command mode. Let AI follow your command. Provide a list of bullets of the benefits. Let's do one of these. Um, provide a list of bullet points. It's gonna go by their queue to improve sales strategies. Use live search data, sure. Generate. So this seems a lot like generating a blog outline. Here's a list of bullet points and it gives you a bunch of bullet points. And this is boss mode. Uh, is it? I don't know. Just made some bullet points. Is that what the boss does all day? Not if I were the boss, I'll tell you that much. So command mode is strange. I don't know why it's under social media. Maybe it's just miscategorized, but it um, allows you to, to freestyle, I guess, instead of the these little apps here, they would have, if I go to this one, they would have integrated in the back end before you hit generate in the prompt. It'd say something like create Instagram post captions when I click this. And so it's created in the structure. It also probably says include hashtags and include emojis. Whereas the boss mode or command mode, uh, my guess is it doesn't have any of that. It just takes your input and that's it. And then it builds based off of that. YouTube topics, social media posts, or sorry, tips, LinkedIn post generator, very nice. Copywriting, this is different from SEO. SEO is blog pool tools, sorry, not blog pools, blog tools and helping you create blog posts, which is more of a traffic generator, and copywriting is a sales generator. And so these apps would help you improve your copywriting, improve your sales pages, your opt-in pages, and things like that with these various tools. They're all very common copywriter type things, especially the before after bridge, pain agitate solution, value propositions, feature to benefit, create a voiceover. Don't do that because the voices aren't that great in this app. Use 11 Labs in my humble opinion. Create your own tool for custom use cases. Let's see how this works. And a pretty neat feature tucked away down here, aside from the grammar checker, is the create your own tool. This allows you to fill out the short form and essentially create your own tool inside of Cream. So I fill out the slow form. I chose to use their example translation tool. Please translate from English to Spanish. So these are those instructions I'm giving to Write Cream. I might have to add more details. We'll see how the tool actually works. Input is gonna be English, output is Spanish. Here are some examples. I use the, the blog intro tool inside of Write Cream to create these. This is a fitness one, blog topic, create a list of exercises I can do at home without any weights or benches. And it created a blog intro for me. And I put that one, that's the third one here. Put that one there and then use Google Translate to translate to Spanish. And I copied the Spanish one and put it in as the output for that. So I did that three times with three different topics. One was business, one was WordPress, one was fitness. You could do up to five examples. I'm just gonna do three. Click on create new tool and let's see how this works. Custom tools live, visit the dashboard. Okay, dashboard. And it's not jumping out at me here. Translate, there it is, translation tool the very bottom. Okay, so let's uh, create another blog intro. So the brand is Pet Care Answers. The topic is a list of the smartest hypoallergenic allergenic dogs who also don't need much exercise. Generate, good enough, copy that. Now, we should be able to put that in right here. We have a 5,000 character limit for this. Now it should make it Spanish as the output. It definitely looks Spanish. 
let's try this. Let's put it in here. Let's put these side by side. I'm not any good at Spanish, so comparing these word for word is what I would do. But if I just spot check, the first word's the same. Um, mucho ejexio, mucho ejexio, a hero, a hero. <laughs> like I said, I'm not Spanish. Oh, there's a difference down here. Y con poco, and this is y e de bio. So it's not exactly the same. But would this work? Let's uh, have the input here, Spanish, and make it English. Find the perfect canine companion. Comparing the English ones now. For find the perfect companion, last sentence, but they also fit seamlessly into your allergy-friendly and low-exercise lifestyle. These amazing breeds not only bring joy and compassion, com companionship to your life, but they also fit perfectly into your allergy-free, low-exercise lifestyle. It's super close. It's so close that it doesn't even matter. Here there's a comma. Here there's an and in the original. But it seems to keep the gist when it translates. And that is amazing. That was so easy to make. Of course, it's pretty easy to go to Google Translate and have it translated too. But having it all in one spot is pretty handy. And I bet if you did a little thinking and a little Googling, you could find all kinds of neat tools you could create using this. So that's a super handy feature. Last thing we're going to check out is the long form editor. So this is for creating long form blog posts. Essentially the strategy, let's just do this right here. The strategy is we use the tools that we have inside of Write Cream. This is very much like Word Hero, which I did in a previous video. If you wanna check that out, it's kind of the same idea as Write Cream. There's a video in the card up above and the description down below to check out Word Hero. Also it's a long form editor, it's pretty sim similar. You see you have a blog idea, tone, let's make it uh, casual is fine. Write for me. So here are some blog ideas. And these can be considered titles. Let's do this one. Delete all those. Now we have an idea. Then we go to blog intro. Actually outline. I'm gonna do an outline first. Blog outline, brand name. Here's the topic that we just copied from the blog idea list. The perfect combination, 10 smart, low exercise, hyperallergenic dog breeds. Right for me. I'm not sure what happened here. One, two, three, four, A, B, C, J, five, six, seven. Interesting. Okay, so we have various outputs here. There's the first output, second output, third output, fourth output. These are all different options for blog outlines. So I created four different outlines and you can mix and match these. So this fourth one I think is the best because it actually lists the dog breeds. Uh, there's only eight, so we wanna find two more. But we also wanna fact check because these ones might not be hyperallergenic. They might not be smart. They might not be low exercise. So you wanna make sure that what it's throwing in here is actually correct. But what I would choose is the fourth one and maybe add in some, the importance of low exercise breeds for certain lifestyles, uh, tips for caring for hyperallergenic dogs. Just add these into this list of topics down here. I mix and match and add my own and, and try to figure out a great blog outline. And then I'm gonna delete all the rest. Let's pretend we have a perfect outline here. I want to get rid of all these numbers, I think. Now that we have that, let's create a blog intro. What's the topic? The same one we just had here. It should add it down below, our content here. Gives us four different intros. Read through them, pick the one you like, edit it, massage it, whatever you have to do. I'm gonna move it up here as the introduction. I'm gonna copy and paste my title. There's no title field at the top, so I'm just gonna make that the title. And I kind of have to, I could write in intro and title just to stay organized or I could just remember what I'm doing. Depends what you wanna do. So that's the intro and I wanna write a paragraph. Where is the blog paragraph? There is no blog paragraph. Even though over here in SEO tools, this is spot, paragraph generator. It'd be nice if they put that into the long form editor, but it's not there currently. So let's put this in there. The importance of low exercise dog breeds for certain lifestyles. Generate. This one looks good. Copy that. And this will be an H2 and this doesn't need to be bold. And then we just go through and we create our blog posts like that. And that's how the long form editor works. Basically the long form editor allows quick access to all the different tools, except for the paragraph generator, apparently, and probably missing some others as well. But ideally all the tools would be in here and you can just pop all the output into your long form post or long form editor here and make it really easy to make long form content. You also wanna save it once in a while to make sure you save your work. And that work should be, where do you find that work? It auto fills it here. Must be some place where you have your documents. I don't know where the documents go. We saved it, but I don't know where it actually ended up. Recent activity, not in there. So that's unfortunate. It'd be nice if there was like, you click on long form editor and it pops you right into the editor. It'd be nice if there was 
an interstitial page that showed you your list of saved files or saved blogs you're working on or some button somewhere, which would, there must be one. I just don't know where it is, right? There's gotta be one, right? Hmm. Anyhow, that's right, Cream. For my dollars, I probably go with Word Hero, the video I mentioned earlier. If you wanna check out my walkthrough of that, it's right up here. If you wanna check out more lifetime deals, check out this playlist right down here. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from Limitless LTDs. Until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.